Hi folks, I want to say a few words about the positive and negative polarity of bodies in Katia V5. Uh, bodies are used, used mainly when you want to do Boolean operation. So it is important to understand this positive and negative business uh, before you can successfully operate on that. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a part, okay? Uh, a part and that part, any part has only one part body and that part body is actually this block. Then I'm gonna insert in this part, in this part one, I'm gonna insert two bodies. The first one is gonna be obviously called body two because literally part body is the body one it starts from numbering from uh, two. So body two is going to be the circle that is padded and body three, is going to be, I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to make a pocket. Now, look, when you make a pocket in a body, it actually literally adds material and makes this block for you. And notice that there is a difference between uh, what appears in the top right corner of these icons. When I did the pad, as soon as I insert the body, actually it puts a plus sign here. And when you make it a pad, it leaves it alone, plus sign. But when you do, when you when you make a pocket, immediately it turns that plus and turns it into minus. Okay, so this is the positive a pad, uh, a pad uh, or anything else that adds material such as shaft, such as rib, uh, creates a positive polarity. And things that remove material such as pocket, slot, uh, uh, groove, I believe they make it. Uh, a negative polarity. Now, so the question becomes, uh, what the, when we assemble these bodies, the polarity matters. But if you use the add and subtract or add or remove, that polarity does not matter as long as you're doing it correct, consistently. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this problem for us. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go and create a part or a part. I'm not going to do a product, I'll do a part. Okay, and uh, on the horizontal plane, I will sketch that rectangle. Uh, so something like that. That's going to be my part body. It is in part body, you can see that. And then I pad it. We get something like this. Of course, there is no polarity when you're talking about part body. Now, I'm going to insert insert the a body and as soon as I do that it puts a body too with a positive polarity. Now depending on what you do in this body this plus can go to negative. Okay for example if you do a pocket this will become negative but if you do a pad this will stay positive. Okay let's uh, insert another body. Well actually let's go make a make a, a pad here. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, we are already in body two so on the horizontal plane I will sketch I will sketch. Uh, why don't I put a circle here? Exit. Okay. And then uh, pad it. Pad it. Just a pad here. And I'm going to make this thing 40 and mirror extend so that we can see it better. So notice that when I created the path, it left that plus sign alone. Now I'm going to insert another part, insert another body. It starts with plus, but when I try to make a pocket, it will turn it into negative. You'll see that. First of all, I draw a sketch, and my sketch is uh, this uh, rectangle, for example. Exit. All right. And as soon as I go and make a pocket, this plus becomes negative. You see that? It became negative. And uh, I do uh, same thing, same height, mirror extent. Okay, now, let's go ahead. So, so this body two has a positive polarity, body three has a negative polarity. So let's go and use the assemble operation. Here's the assemble operation. Okay, let's assemble this body, uh, body this body two, to the part body. So this 
But first of all, when you select this, what it does for assemble two, immediately it selects the thing that is after body two that you selected. Now I don't want to I don't want to assemble this thing to body three. I want to assemble it to part body. It by by default when you select something, it goes immediately to the body below it, and I don't want that. But no problem. I go and select the part body, and we say okay. So what happens is that it took the body two and assembled it into the part body and you can see this dark black line tells you that it is assembled now i do assemble again okay assemble this fellow as soon as you select that it takes the next body but there is no next body so it goes up and select the part body and i say okay now remember this has a negative polarity and guess what's going to happen it's going to make a pocket. Okay? Now, I'm going to repeat this operation, except that I will not use assemble. I will use uh, add and remove. Okay, so let me undo some of these things. So let's go ahead and uh, undo uh, control Z. Control Z. Control Z. Okay, there we are. So we're back to where we started. We have the part body right here. We have this thing, which is body two, that's a path, it's positive polarity. We have this thing that's body three, it has a negative polarity because it makes out of a pocket. So let's go ahead and add body two to part body. So add is here. You know, if this has a black downward arrow, which means there's sub menu here. So this is add. I select body two, not to body three, I want to add it to part body. So because immediately it goes to the next body, but I don't want to go to the next body. I want to select part body. And as soon as I do that, this is going to be added to that. And the dark lines here indicates that it is added, it has been added. Now, if I do this, this guy has a negative polarity. If I add this thing to that, it's not going to take it away. It's just going to literally add it. So let's try it. Add that guy, which has a negative polarity, to the part body, we say, okay. It does not go away. In other words, the fact that this had a negative polarity doesn't mean it kind of counteracts, removes material here. Let me undo this. Control Z. Instead of adding this, let me say remove. Here is the remove. Remove body three from part body. Now it's going to make a pocket. So the moral of the story is that when you assemble, this polarity comes into the picture. Negative ones will remove, positive ones will add. But when you do add and remove operation, you just have to be careful. Don't get the impression that when you add something that has a negative polarity to something that has a uh, to something else, it actually will remove material. It didn't, as you can see. All right, that uh, hopefully uh, clarifies this. There's uh, quite a few uh, uh, good videos on uh, Boolean operation and some of these issues, but uh, here's my two cents of uh, on this item. Good luck.